Hi George, sorry to hear about the problem with your fridge freezer, model number uh, HT5811IKH1, that's a hot point. Now firstly, you should never ever defrost your fridge freezer with a hairdryer. Let me really point that out. You can do lots of damage, melting plastic, also overheating sensors and all sorts of other problems. You should always defrost your fridge freezer if you've got a problem in the evaporator area just by opening the doors, unplug the fridge freezer for 24 hours, make sure the room temperature of course is warm but you should never do it with a hairdryer. Now I've just come back from the IFA trade show in Berlin and I'm in northern Holland at the moment having a week catching up on emails and also having some time for myself before I go back to the workshop. Uh, I would like to keep in communications with you because I'd like to know if the defrost has worked because sometimes in the UK we have central heating systems that come on for the winter but we turn them off in the summer and sometimes this quick differential change in temperature in our kitchens can cause the defrost systems to miss a beat as I would say. This means that the fridge freezer may have not defrosted correctly on a couple of occasions and therefore ice built up on your evaporator and therefore the air was not being blown into the fridge. Now your fridge got warm because of that ice buildup. Now you've defrosted it, it might take 24 hours now for this to actually settle because the priority on all these modern fridge freezers is to keep the freezer compartment at the minimum operating temperature before, to, before it starts cooling the actual fridge. You'll have to excuse the uh, wind here, it's blowing a bit of a hoolie as I'm really at the northern end of Holland and uh, right expo really exposed on the coast here. Uh, I'm actually camped, the camper is in the background there and I'm able to keep up to date with all customers emails and everything else but I'm actually based next to a marina uh, so I've got the joy of all their facilities, electricity hookup and everything else. I'm also only about four or five miles away from the Western Frisian Islands which are out there which is uh, something I'm going out to see in the next few days. Anyway I've put a link below for you in the description to a page where you can see an exploded diagram of your machine. Now this machine has got many part numbers on it and you'll need to use the link on the page to actually get to the correct components if you do still think you need a fan motor. Uh, you say the fan motor wasn't operating but this will only operate once the freezer gets to the minimum temperatures and then start directing the air to the fridge compartment. Uh, there's also two other videos I suggest you watch. They are on a different make. One is on a, well they're both on Samson, I think there's three videos all together. They're all on Samson fridge freezers. But about 10 years ago I built a graphing system that would monitor the fridge temperature, the freezer temperature and the electricity consumption. This then allows me to know because a defrost system only kicks in for about 10-15 minutes in every 24 hours. So by understanding what's actually happening in the fridge freezer it allows me to determine when there's an actual problem. Now when you're doing this in the home you can only go by what you see and what is happening and this means that sometimes you misunderstand what components are not working and why the fridge freezer is not operating correctly. So it's well worth watching those three videos. Uh, I'm also really sorry to say that manufacturers now after being to the IFA trade show are really not concentrating on building reliability into the machines. They're only interested in greenwashing everything that they are talking about energy efficiency. Uh, you've even got fridge freezers now at that trade show that when you touch the door it opens automatically. 
uh, so you've got mechanical uh, or motorised hinge units, you've got glass that turns clear so you can see what's inside the fridge. If they would just concentrate their efforts into building something more reliable. Fridge freezers, especially Hotpoint, used to last 15 to 20 years minimum without any problems, but that meant you had to defrost it manually. General public today wants auto defrost and all these gizmos, but all it's really doing is shortening the lifespan of these machines. Anyway, goodbye from Holland. I hope this page assists you and the links are there for you to get all the parts that you need for your machine and hopefully just by defrosting it, you might have rectified the problem. Goodbye from Holland.